about a year ago, I found myself standing underneath a rainbow balloon, thinking of the misuse of God's covenant sign given to Noah in Genesis 9, verses 13 through 16. I thought, why was this symbol chosen to represent a certain group of people? A thought came to me saying the rainbow arch is an umbrella blocking the rain. The Holy Spirit is also a symbol of rain in James 5, verse 7 and Acts 2, verse 17. He also comes like wind, Acts 2, verse 3, and John 3, verse 8. In Genesis 8, after the flood, God sent a wind over the earth. The rain was restrained and the water dried up. This is the first mention of the restrain. Keep this in mind. You see, God sends the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, to guide us and teach us truth. If we block the rain or Holy Spirit, our heart becomes hardened, like soil without water. Seeds of truth cannot grow. In 2 Thessalonians 2, verse 10, says, Because they received not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. Please watch every bit of this video to get a full understanding. Also read Acts chapters 1 and 2. Acts 1, verse 13 says, They went into an upper room, waiting on the promise of the Father, the Holy Ghost, to baptize them with power. In Acts chapter 2, men of every nation were gathered together when the mighty rushing wind of the Holy Ghost came. Now compare this. When the rainbow flag was created in 1978 in San Francisco, a group of about 30 people were gathered together in an attic, an upper room. The eight colors of the flag represent togetherness, of all races, ages, and genders. Remember there were eight people on Noah's Ark to repopulate the earth, people of every nation, races. Satan copies everything. Now read Genesis chapter 3 and 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Paul is talking about the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and says, let no man deceive you. In Genesis 3, Eve, a type of the bride, or church, was deceived. She wandered and fell away from Adam, who is also a type of Christ. This is the falling away. They realized they had been deceived by Satan, the man of sin. Then they ran and hid from God in the garden. In Revelation 6, verse 16, the wicked hide from the coming of Jesus. In 2 Thessalonians, verses 6 through 7, what withholds the man of sin? It's the drying up of the restrainer, the Holy Ghost. When man's heart hardens and no longer listens to the spirit of truth, the man of sin is given power and is revealed. Second Thessalonians 2 verse 4 says he sits in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. He exalts himself. Remember Lucifer said he would ascend above the heights of the clouds in Isaiah 14 verse 14? We are God's temple. Our brain is like a cloud with a rainbow over it. In Genesis 9, God set his bow in the cloud. He that leadeth or restrains will be taken out of the way. God's temple will have become so polluted the Holy Spirit will not dwell in it. Like in the days of Moses, if the temple was corrupt, God's presence wasn't there. Thank you for watching and please like and share this important message for as it was in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, are here.